when a prominent journalist is assassinated or, or when a prominent politician is assassinated, it, it destroys the pipeline of, of future leaders in journalism or, or politics. Um, and that leaves a permanent, it leaves society or a democracy permanently handicapped. So we had to make it our mission to ensure that something positive came out of my mother's assassination, that society's response rather than one of fear would be one of courage and, and that society would grow stronger from what happened. We, we understood immediately that if, if we weren't successful in doing that, um, then society would grow weaker. Um, when something like this happens, it's always a turning point for a country. So um, it, it could have either got worse or better. And for a time it, it got worse. And it, it was years before it started to get better. And it's still quite bad. Um, but we know from other examples, uh, such as Russia, um, there, are, there are many others I could mention, that when a, when a prominent journalist like Anna Politovskaya is assassinated, you can, you can always tell this is when everything reaches a point of no return and where any hope for a democratic transition uh, disappeared completely. Um, and we knew there was that risk in Malta. And in fact, the, the public inquiry into my mother's assassination found that Malta was on the way to becoming what it called an entrenched mafia state. And that if it weren't for my mother's assassination, that would have been Malta's future. And so it wasn't the assassination that saved the country, it was society's response to the assassination that changed the country's destiny. You know, the, the other reason there it's so important to respond is that when a journalist is assassinated, especially a journalist investigating corruption, it's a symptom of something deeply wrong in, in the state. Um, so you cannot leave it to the state to respond. Um, the journalists are often the, only become targets once state agencies have already failed. And, and that's something we knew was the case in, in Malta and, and was the case even in other European countries like Slovakia. Um, so, so that's why it's non-state actors who sadly have to take on the responsibility of, of responding to the murder of, of journalists and civil society activists and sometimes even politicians.